so with color so bathing with color I just wanted to talk about how lights and darks are shown through color when we look at apples for instance they're not just green they're dark green and light green and a whole bunch of colors in between with blues and even deep purples it's not just a dark or a regular green so through my artwork I show, I show this through my design so I really wanted to make my outfits pop and have a lot of colors so with the first one I wanted to include not just an all black dress but also include yellow and white and purple as well and with the red dress I wanted to include light red and dark red along the lining of the dresses with the mediums. So medium, my favorite medium to use is pastels. I also like um, charcoal as well because charcoal helps give out lights and darks easily and they're easily shown through charcoals. Painting is my favorite to do but it's helped with practicing painting because I believe painting is a good skill to have to know how to develop your paintings and make them better. So with this piece I use charcoal and obviously there's a lot of gray value uh, ranging from white to dark gray to black and so this piece is kind of hard because it was an observational drawing and during the day it would it would sometimes change from a dark room to a light room because I would do this painting every day and each day could be a little darker than the other days so with this one I used pastel and um, I it was hard because I'm not used to look I'm not used to working with lighter skin tones but this time I went to challenge myself and I happened to use um, a white pastel first, then I used a pink one, and then I used a little bit of burnt sienna for the sides of her face to give her face more depth. And then this painting, for color and uh, for medium, I used paints, watercolor. And first it was pen, and I added um, a lot of colors as pink, yellow, purples, and greens to give it life. I wanted the painting to pop, not just be pen. And then also wanted to give depth with the pot, so using a dark brown to a light brown. So a realistic theme. So this year's themes for me, what I think was realistic themes, because I wanted to focus more on real life objects and how they would look. Especially with portraits. I love drawing portraits. I love the face because the face can always change the expression. Um, the face also gives out a lot of feeling and emotions, but especially with the eyes, because the eyes are kind of like the view of the soul. So with this painting, um, it's more of a biomedical illustration piece and biomedical illustrations like drawing um, like scientific illustration drawing from plants to animals to people just drawing realistic things for um, information for people to look at and to observe and to understand so I chose to draw a flower because the flower was simple and it, and it gave a lot of um, you know depth and then this painting I also use this as a real, realistic theme because there's a real person, she's an actress, um, and I wanted to give her face a very um, deep depth and you can tell by the size of her face with the jawline and with the neckline, there's a lot of depth to that. And then this next piece is charcoal and it's realistic because it was also an observational piece just like the other one I drew and I had to look at the, uh, the um, vegetables that I was drawing and Every, it was challenging because every day it would change from um, a light to a dark depending on what day it was because the room was brighter on some days and darker on the other days. So it's shading. So shading, especially with charcoal, I, I wanted to focus on this because I want to practice with drawing with charcoal for my um, different paintings I was doing. And so from lights to darks, and it's really hard because the face if it's too dark, it's hard to bring out the eyes and the size of the, the cheek and the forehead. So with this painting, uh, there's a lot of range of lights and dark. So starting with the ground, which is like a white, and then the house itself, which is a dark brown. Um, it wasn't as hard because it was pastel, but it was charcoal. I believe it would be harder because charcoal, it's first of all, it's black and it's hard to draw um, with black charcoal. And then structure. So with the structure for this piece, I um, wanted to focus on this because of my pastel, my portrait pastel paintings and make sure my paintings were proportional. And then with the um, body shape for my fashion pieces, making sure that the proportions for the model were proportional as well. Because I wanted um, the bodies to look real. So this piece, the proportions, this was hard because it was charcoal first of all. 
and then um, the face itself is kind of um, unproportionate because of her nose one side happens bigger than the other side and the rest of our bodies um, I think is pretty good especially the on the neckline it's pretty good to me um, but the face was very hard to draw and this painting is a fashion piece and proportionally she's perfectly fine I think um, I had to make sure that the body was eight head eight heads long that's the typical rule of thumb and making sure the waistline was just one head and then same with the shoulders um, being I believe two heads wide and this piece as well um, make sure the body was eight heads long um, making sure that her arms were the correct length because it's hard with fashion because fashion models aren't the average body size so it's hard making sure that the models are you know, proportionate and whatnot, and not putting my own view into it. Even though I did make these a little bit thicker than normal uh, models are, as I wanted myself to be in the paintings. And then for future goals, so future goals, I do want to become a biomedical illustrator. Um, so this means I'm drawing things like animals or bodies or uh, parts of bodies or yeah, just like an eye or a leg or you know, even plants. So it's just basically drawing for surgeons and doctors or textbooks. So I like this painting the most because, first of all, it's really d well done. Um, you can see the veins on the inside of the body. So you can see me a closer look at these. And you can see the blood vessels and it's very detailed. I love detailed pieces because they give a lot of information about the blood is flowing, how it's flowing. And this piece is kind of like a fossil. Um, and this is nice because all the details of this uh, fossil shape, you can see the curves and the deep crevices of the shell and also different parts are labeled. This is my dream goal to do one day and I think it's just really awesome. It could, and, it, and it centers around real themes as well. And that's all folks.